When we were children, we were colorblind. The assumptions, the judgments, the distorted reality did not exist. A smiling face was a smiling face. A friend was a friend. But as we grew older, divisions grew more distinct, perspectives vastly differed, and somehow we became black and white. When I originally set out to make this video, I did not realize that it would take me in a completely different direction from where I started to go. I began drawing this picture with another video fresh in my mind. This video, while I won't say what it was, came across to me as extremely discriminatory against my race. But because that race is white, they must have apparently felt justified to post the video and it bundled Caucasians into one group of arrogant, selfish people and it just made me so frustrated. I wanted to make a video and drawing that highlighted my perspective being a target of racism as a white person. But please don't get angry, just keep listening. Though I felt strongly about this issue, I knew that I was only seeing things from my perspective. While I knew that racism against especially colored people is a huge problem in the world today, I never really saw it firsthand. So I reached out to my friends, specifically those who are people of color, and I asked them to share their point of view with me, to, to sort of lend me their eyes for a moment. They shared their own experiences and perspectives with me and it helped me to step outside of myself and see a glimpse of the world without being stuck inside my own head and also focused on my own problems. While my own problems are real, just as everybody's own problems are very real, I can't let them consume me so that they seem bigger than other people's problems just because I don't experience those other problems. Back to the video I watched. Yes, it was racist. Yes, it was racist against me, against white people, and yes, I was angry. But when I talked to my friends, friends who have a little more pigment in their skin than I do, and therefore experience the world differently, I gained understanding. And that anger I felt dimmed because I was able to see more clearly what led the people in that video to say the things that they did. It wasn't fair, but the world we live in isn't fair, and sometimes it's a little less fair to certain groups of people. So no, this video is not meant to lift one race over the others, or to defend myself as a white person. It's meant to encourage you to try to see the world differently. Don't get stuck in your own perception of the world, because it's a very, very small point of view. The Earth is home to 7 billion people with 7 billion different perspectives. And if we forget that, if we forget that everyone sees the way things are slightly differently, then we lose our compassion and understanding for one another. And that only brings hatred. So this drawing is of me, as the sort of closed off appearance caused by the black background represents my view of the world. I only see what I see and only experience what I experience, and I am only one person. It's so easy to become wrapped up in my perception alone 
and those of other people around me become hazy. But I try and want to encourage all of you to try to see the world differently. When we take the time to understand another person's perspective better, walk a day in their shoes as the saying goes, we begin living a little less for ourselves and a little more for others. And that can go a long, long way in making the world a better place.